Hiya guys, West Country Explorer here. Uh, I've just taken a little break away from packing for a holiday. Amy and I have got a week's holiday in Brussels. Uh, so we're going out tomorrow and coming back home next Saturday. So yeah, so I'm going to hope all being well. Loads of videos uh, out in Brussels exploring that area. So keep your eyes peeled for them. But I uh, just thought I'd take a little break from the packing. And I thought I'd do another Tales from the Workplace video. So this time it's not a, a railway one. It's from when I was working at a hotel. Because there was a, about a two, two and a half year period when I was working as a cleaner at this little village hotel. It was called the Fairwater Head Hotel. It, I was living in Lyme Regis at the time. And uh, Fairwater... It was in, based in Hawk Church, which is about six mile inland from Lyme Regis, just along the Krukern Road. And like I said, I was a, a cleaner there. And I remember, because at the time, well, to start with, I was like, used to drive in. But it got to the point, because the money wasn't brilliant and all the rest, I just couldn't afford to run the car anymore. So I ended up giving the car up and started cycling into work so yeah it like cycle six mile in six mile home and all the rest I remember one thing i used to do in the winter time when it was like really cold i am um, because i was cycling and all the rest i used to sort of put a pair of thick tights on so sort of just a way of help extra layer on me like feet and legs and that to keep me warm and all the rest because <coughs> what I always used to do was it'd be the tights on first and then like sort of me pants and trousers and all the rest because I didn't want to be wearing the tights when I like doing the work and that so obviously what I used to do was when I got into work go to the sort of staff room which was little more than a storage room so I had to go in there and basic to get me tights off, I basically had to sort of <laughs> strip off naked from the waist down, like get, and then put my pants and trousers back on. And then obviously when it came to sort of going home and that, to put the tights back on, again, I had to sort of strip off naked from the waist down and sort of put the tights on and all the rest. So <laughs> bit of a palaver, but it helped keep me sort of feet and legs and all that warm sort of cycling in the, the snow and all cold weather and all the rest and I remember there's this one time I can't remember for definite which winter it was it was either the winter of 2009-10 or the winter of 2010-11 and it was one, one day at the end of my shift I wanted to get ready to sort of go home so I've been nipped into this sort of like storage room stroke staff room and that to get ready. So there I was stripping off and I'd just got to the stage where I was taking off my underwear. So I was naked from the waist down, just about to put my tights back on when the wee second chef, a lot young lass, she's about must have been about 20 year old at the time early 20s something like that she came into the storage room like to get something i can't remember what <laughs> so she comes in and there's me completely naked from the waist down <laughs> yeah she like poor lass cops an eye full of me old wedding tackle <laughs> you know just <laughs> so we both were like, oh, Gordon Bennett, yeah. I, so I sort of like, because in, in this storage room, there's like a, a toilet. So I, I dived into the toilet cubicle. She dived out of the storage room and all the rest, you know. <coughs> Poor lass, you know. So, anyway, so once I knew for definite she was out, I quickly got my tights on, my pants on, my trousers on, you know, like socks and shoes and all the rest, got ready to go out. And of course, to... So to go out, like to leave the building, I had to 
from the storage room, I had to go past the kitchen area. So as I was going past the kitchen area, there's this like wee second shaft and, and that. And she like kind of looks at me and like, I looked at her and had, we had a bit of a laugh about it. I was like, oh, what's on the pudding menu for tonight? Is it spotted dick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now for those of you non-British people who are viewing this, spotted dick is a type of pudding we have over here in Britain. So. <laughs> So yeah, I, was, so I haven't copped an eyeful of my old wedding tag. I was like, oh yeah, what's on the pudding menu? Spotted the heck. <laughs> so there you go. That's what the second chef spotted that day. <laughs> <coughs> and that's one of my other tales from the workplace. And on that happy note, I best go back inside and find where my passport is ready for going off tomorrow. Well guys, thank you for watching, look forward to seeing you in the next video, which will all be in well, be a Brussels video, and in the meantime, the usual, stay safe, take care, and God bless.